Oh wow, guys, there's a vicious flu going around. Believe me, I'm telling you about it. So we're getting a checkup from the Chief Executive Officer of Mahogany Health and Fitness, Dr. Winston Dawes. Morning, welcome to Smile Jamaica. It's morning, morning dear, good to see you again. Dr. Dawes, I'm calling it a flu. Is it a flu? It is flu. It's, um, it's, it's bad. I, I've had several patients, I've had several friends who have not the more for quite a few weeks. Yeah. And uh, there's even one who was in the US and he thought he was Superman. When the twirling it took him eight weeks to fully recover. Went, went out too early? Yes. Like didn't wait for to recover? Yeah, did not wait for full recovery. Oh, jeez. Um, that no. just sent me into depression. No, 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 no. Don't get, don't get right, depressed. So, <laughs> no, so let's talk about it. Because one of the things I was saying this morning mm. to Simone is we're so bad at health communication. So, so you hear little things like people who don't have medical knowledge saying, oh, it's a bad flu, is this. Try this, try that. Why haven't we had some kind of public advisory to say, people, this is happening. These are some of the things you need to look out for, um, be more aware. Why, why, don't, why don't we have that kind of communication? Well, um, uh, we mentioned it some time ago on my program. Yes. On, uh, on our job, you know, on, on Sunday. Sunday, mm -hmm. So we did mention that, but I suppose it's, it's not uh, so that grabs people. There's so many other things grabbing headlines mm -hmm. that we don't think of the flu as being um, newsworthy. Yeah. This one's particularly bad. Any reason why? And I'm no. saying this because it seems globally. Yes, yes. Flu is... It is. Yeah. Well, each season, uh, there's a flu season where you get various, and not usually one type, but you might have several types, but one might be worse than the others. Mm -hmm. Difficult to predict. You know, um, they have had some very, very bad ones. And there was the Spanish flu of 1918, which killed between 20 and 50 million people. Wow. Yes. Uh, then you had the was it Hong Kong flu, which they made a song about. Mm -hmm. And the surprising thing was that the people who survived the 1918 flu did not get the Hong Kong flu. Oh. So they may, it may have been related to that. Mm -hmm. And they had developed resistance, which remained with them. Mm -hmm. So it's... There is a flu season, but there um, are intermittent cases throughout the year. Yeah. Now, I've had flu. Mm -hmm. Never had this kind of pain with flu. Yeah. It's, it's, some people, you know, some people escape and some get really <laughs> bad. And you're, you're, and you're the unfortunate one this time. Uh, so talk to me about some of the symptoms. I, so I'll tell you some of the things I experienced mm. and then you can tell mm. me. Those are some of the common things that are happening. So I mentioned the pain. Pain, yes. Everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. A cold, cough, mm -hmm. uh, headaches, yes. especially sometimes. Lower back pain. Lower back, yeah. It can be anywhere. Mm -hmm. and, and the muscle pains. Sometimes you get diarrhea. Some people might vomit. Um, some people, if the fever gets really high, it can sometimes cause um, delirium, you know, where people get confused. Mm -hmm. And the fever is very high. Yeah, if the fever is very high, then you should go in and see a doctor just to make sure. Yeah. Talk to me about the kids. I was saying to someone yesterday, kids, you know, don't want to admit that they're sick sometimes. And so as parents, you have to particularly know that flu is going around. Yes. Uh -huh. um, look out for, for particular things to make sure they're okay and it's not too late. Um, what, what are we looking for? Well, the again, temperature? the fever, the cold, mm -hmm. and they're just not feeling well. Not you, might, you know, they're, they're not eating, and uh, they used to be playing around, they're just going to bed. So they, they'll almost tell us mm -hmm. that they are sick, and um, especially those under six, we should um, take them into the doctor. And for the benefit of the other patients, you should make an appointment so that you, they don't go there and stay. Spread it, because doctor's offices quite often can be the matter, mm. you know, for where people come in, we're healthy, and the sick intermingling with sick people, yeah, and you end up spreading it. So that's what I was going to ask you in terms of containing it, because it, it seems like it's still yeah, too it's, much it, being spread. It, it's difficult because you are contagious a day or two before you develop symptoms, mm -hmm. and this goes on until you're fully recovered. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people are contagious or spreading it, mm -hmm. and are not yet sick. Yeah. Fully recovered means what? Because um, for some people, including myself, once the fever breaks, you say, okay, no, no, I'm no. in the clear, but, but, but. No, no, rest and listen to your body. 
Rest. You're not rest. Relax. No, no. It's very, very important. Yeah. You know, it, it's... I know people are anxious, anxious to get back out to work. Mm -hmm. But sometimes by rushing it, you end up functioning at 50 or 30 percent. Tell me I'm moving slow. That's what Moving that's slow. <laughs> and you're moving slow for four or five weeks instead of resting for the week and, and coming back And then being able to go back up yeah. to 100 percent. Yeah. Wow. That and can never... No, no. And the other thing, lots of fluids, mm -hmm. you know, um, and take your vitamin supplements uh, it's, and don't exercise. A lot of times people, there was this rumor about that you don't exercise. Don't exercise. Not, not, not really having these barriers. Jesus, I see me tell Simone this morning about going back to do the play because the work, the work is good for my lungs, which is... No, no, it might be good for the lungs, but don't... Well, no, but it's vigorous exercise yeah. because, you know, it makes it tired and might affect your immune system. Yeah, I find that this will kind of saps the energy yeah, a lot. Yeah, it saps the energy. Moving so. slow is what I say. I say yes, I'm moving well. slow, I'm moving slow. Um, what about people, I'm, I'm, we're, we're going, persons who are still suffering from the lingering, the gift that keeps on giving, Chick B, um, and the pain with this flu, it seems to kind of yeah, it's, escalate it's, it's that pain. It, yes, uh -huh. Mm. Yeah, um, nobody really knows for sure, but uh, a lot of these, um, these viral illnesses, they cause a resurgence of previous pains. Yeah. Well, you know, Chick, we remember that um, people might have had pains 10, 15 years before, and Chick, we targeted those areas. Mm -hmm. So, it's not some, something we can really explain, but it does happen. It happens. All right. Well, I'm going to see him later about my knees. Yeah, two <laughs> years late. But better two years late than never. <laughs> that kind of two years. But it's that's two, how great it, you were in yeah, fixing it, it the last two, time. It was two years ago. Well, it, that's how great you were in yes, fixing yes, it the yes, last yes. time. So I'll be seeing him about my knees in a short while. Chief Executive Officer. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. The pleasure was mine. And I'll see you. Make sure you come I later. I come in, man. I come in right. of mahogany okay. health and fitness. Okay. That's how it stands. <laughs> I come in as soon as the show is done. Okay. Um, stay with us. A few stories from the church after the break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 